Hey everyone, welcome to Weekend Warrior Professional Detailing. If you do enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. So today we will be working on a 2017 Dodge Ram 3500. This truck came in with a lot of sand, dirt, dust, basically a dust bucket. Not a lot of high mileage on this vehicle, really a small amount of miles, uh, just a lot of dirt. As we walk around the vehicle, you can see, as I mentioned, that the truck itself is in really good shape. It's just needs to be uncovered from the dust and sand and gravel. So I do try to take out all the personal items, put them aside for the owner, uh, return them at the end. And to start with, we will begin by taking out the car mats. We try to fold them up, pull them out, shake them off without getting any dirt inside the truck. That's really the goal. The less we can keep the loose stuff out, the better off we are. So today we're gonna to focus heavily on vacuuming. I do wanna stress that the vacuum is really 85% of the detail. We tend to forget that sometimes. The vacuum is probably one of the best tools we have in the arsenal. So you'll see as I pull up this mat here that the carpet's actually beautiful underneath. It's like I said, it's only a 2017, so it's very new. But simply just needs to be uh, unlayered from the dirt and dust that we found inside this thing. So let's start off and get to vacuuming. So I'm using a rigid vacuum uh, along with the rigid car detailing set that can be picked up pretty much at Home Depot. As we move along in the detail, you can see that there's a lot of pet hair, um, just different type of loose soils, gravel sands, different things, and we really focus on getting most of this, and or all of this really, taken out of the, the truck so that we can move on to the next phase of the detail. That piece on the vacuum, uh, that is a flexible uh, end on there that really comes in handy. It gives you the ability to rub it back and forth and, you know, has some give to it. It's not super rigid.
So, I'm taking out the brush here, even though it looks clean as you can see as I brush along, it's pulling up different debris from the bottom of the carpet fibers up to the top. Trying to get as much of that loose stuff up as we can. So moving on to the seats, again they were covered with that same talcish dust that just needed to be taken out. I do use a bunch of different brushes, um, different levels of uh, the bristles stiffness. Um, you'll notice the blue brush, which is the stiffest of them all. Uh, the red brush is a mediocre type bristle brush. And then the boar's hair brush is much softer and just really lifts off a lot of dust and 
smaller particles. It's important to keep a damp rag on hand. The uh, perfect example is those uh, C-frames in the back there. Give them a quick wipe down. Much better. I focus a lot on these close up shots so that, you know, as I do the vacuuming and brushing, you can actually see the soils coming up after each brush. Um, Again, which goes back to the importance of the vacuum during the detail. 
as we brush, you know, again with different stiff brushes and so on, you pull up different types of fibers, materials, um, you know, from a fine powder all the way from fur to hair. It's pretty amazing. So as I move along here as on this rear seat, you'll notice that as I get more of the dust up, the stains really start to show through. Um, just goes to show that, you know, some stains can be covered up by more dirt. Here I'm just using uh, an all-purpose cleaner. Uh, this is the LA Totally Awesome. Uh, I think I picked up a dollar store, uh, diluted to a 10 to 1 ratio. Using the white bristle drill brush, which is the softest brush they have available. I don't like to go into anything stiffer than that. It really just starts to pull fibers apart at that point. For this detail, we just pulled out the Bizzle Spot Cleaner. As I said, this stuff wasn't, wasn't heavy, heavy soil. Uh, embedded in the fibers, so this did the trick. One thing you'll notice while I'm extracting is I do several dry passes, so not a, you know, pulling the trigger to eject water, just pulling in as much of the water that's currently on the seat as I can to just slow, uh, speed up drying times. Then a quick wipe off down with a clean microfiber towel. So I don't like to put a lot of uh, all-purpose cleaner down. Um, even though it is diluted, it is a very aggressive chemical. Um, so I do try to keep to a, to a minimum. Uh, I do see some detailers uh, putting it down 
almost to saturation and you know you never really can get all of that pulled back up um, you really want to extract until you do get clean water but the solvents in an all-purpose cleaner can over time as it dries up leave a little bit of a crusty feeling on any of your fabrics or carpet so less is more in this case if it pulls up the stains that's really the goal here not to leave any you know cleaners behind just a nice soft uh, piece of fabric when you're done So for the plastics, I like to use, again, the all-purpose cleaner with the dilution ratio 10 to 1. Uh, those soft bristle detailer brushes really do come in handy. Microfiber towel and, in some cases, a harder bristle brush for the to get in all the seams and creases of the uh, hard surfaces.
when doing a detail, try to remember to do the brake gas and emergency brake pedal if it's there. Just shows that you didn't really leave any stone unturned. Unfortunately, the light um, interior of this did seem to scuff pretty easily as you see me working on some stains as I'm going through the plastics and some of the scuffs just did not come out. It's, you know, unfortunate, but for this uh, type of vehicle, the Dodge, I, you know, don't know if it's a quality issue with the plastics or whatever, but it just, uh, the scuffs were, seemed to be pretty much all over the place. Nothing like a little bit of good conversation while you're working. Keeps you busy. Keeps you occupied. So we had a mouse uh, emergency. Some people in the family thought it was a rat, but just a simple field mouse.
So I'm basically just taking the detail brush, it's sort of pointed on one on the other side, so I just flip it around, put the rag over it, and basically clean the vents of the AC. So I'm using a microfiber applicator pad. Uh, I like to use Chemical Guys uh, Silk and Chine. I think it leaves a nice finish that doesn't feel oily and filmy. It goes on nice. So it is important to use a good protectant. Um, it is also good to work it in somewhat. It, you know, you don't want to just leave a film on the top. You do want to work it into all the surfaces. Make sure you get all the cracks and creases. That helps to just protect the interior from the sun, as well as make it easier to clean further down the road. Microfiber applicator pads are good for this. You can, you know, work it. Work the work the the chemical into the interior, um, as like I said, you don't want to just glaze it across the top. That's really not get, doing uh, justice to the product. So as we round the corner of this detail, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content. Um, I enjoy doing this type of work, it really does uh, give me a good feeling of satisfaction when the job is done correctly.
and that'll do it. This was a lot of fun to do. Um, the owner of the truck was really happy with the results. So thank you for watching and like I said please like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. I will be having an engine detail and exterior detail for this truck uh, coming out. But until then, keep it clean.